studio, my guest, no stranger to the entertainment world. He's been performing in front of crowds for many years. Uh, number one comedian in the ticket sales for several years and still maintains a huge loyal fan base. He is the one and only Gallagher in the studio. Welcome to Binghamton, Gallagher. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And uh, just because I sold tickets in the past doesn't mean anything's happening today. The Jokes on You Comedy Tour with special guest Artie Fletcher is with us. Hi, Artie. Bob Nelson. And Bob Nelson, who is not with us today, but will be with you for the show on Thursday night. When people talk about you and they talk about your show, they always put you in the comedian genre. But you do much more than just stand there on the stage with uh, a microphone and maybe a stool and maybe a glass of water. How would you define yourself as an entertainer? I wouldn't have made any of the mistakes that uh, Donald Trump is making, and I'm a lot smarter than him. And uh, so I think I like that Donald's running because he makes me look okay. And Gallagher's just recorded an album, You Classic Rockers, with Chips Enough from the bands Enough is Enough. He mm-hmm. just did that in Chicago about a month ago. Because they're playing it here on the station. Oh, huge. <laughs> it's number one with a bullet. <laughs> there you go. Talk We're talking about young, younger people. Most people know who you are, but right. a lot of the younger people, they hear Gallagher and Magic City Music Hall, and they say, oh, what band Go to you, YouTube and look at my five pages of videos, please. What? Tell everybody about what a Gallagher show is all about. Let's talk about the Jokes on You comedy tour. Well, it's different than any other. We don't go on one at a time. We're all three on stage the whole time. It's Hell's a Poppin'. Oh, now I used an old term. Wow. Come on. Why are you using <laughs> old stuff? I don't know. We're it's like old. the uh, Marx Brothers. We're oh, the modern day oh, Marx Brothers. That's old, too. <laughs> one of the things I did want to ask you about, of course, is your famous patented, I don't know if it's patented, Sledgeomatic routine. You still have that in the show? The, yeah, it's out in the car they're towing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the boot off, no, huh? We were well, I always wondered about that because when you see videos of you doing this and you're smashing everything you can think of, do you ever get anybody that gets, like, really PO'd at you because they get watermelon seeds on them? If or? you were having the Blue Man Group in here, would you ask them about that? Do you know at Quar I and would. Insane Clown Posse, <laughs> they yeah. get the crowd off? I started something that's comp- it's in entertainment now. It's mm-hmm. part of entertainment to get splashed. So the liberals aren't after you for damaging watermelons or anything? Yes. <laughs> One time I couldn't do this show because the Indian people didn't like the fact that I was smashing food and it could have been one of their relatives. Oh, no. Yeah, really, to tell you the truth. And, and that is part of your show, but it's not your whole show, obviously. No, we do several hours and then we smash at the end. Let's talk about your website, too. Gallagher Smash. I already did. I was telling, go to YouTube and look at all my videos. No. Or they just have to hit Google and yeah, my Google. website comes up. I'm so tech savvy. But you've written some pretty cool poems, too. You have poems on there about football. I know, and, and I can't figure out why people don't pay attention to this. I have one good one about uh, how uh, football-centric our society is and another one about politics and uh, one to teach kids how to eat right that Michelle Obama should look at. If anybody knows Michelle, it's, tell her to go to my website or, or send it to her. And then one for Barack, too. I'm a national treasure. And I just, I feel that I owe it to society to have my talent that I do, that I have to, you know, spend my life on the road. Well, you're, you are a very approachable guy. And I know at the Magic City Music Hall, people will be able to, to, to see you, maybe get some pictures with you. I'm going to be in the lobby when they first show an up. An hour and a half before the show. We're the only act in the world who does it. Gallagher, Bob, and myself. It's important that, well, they want to have a picture to put on their uh, Facebook. Facebook. That's right. Mm-hmm. And most comedians won't do that. A lot of them won't. Oh, most celebrities are terrible, and they give them uh, instructions ahead of time. You're not supposed to look in their eyes. There's a lot of comedians that you can't. How about the meet and greet for $100? We don't believe that. That's terrible. We we think that's stupid. They're selling that now. That's access to the celebrity. Jerry Seinfeld, you can't look him in the eyes. And I had heard Kevin James was like that, too. See? The word gets out. He has an opening (laughs) act that looks like him. If you were were a big, fat guy, would you have another fat guy to open for you? No, you have a pretty little thin woman. I don't get it. Unless he was fatter than me, then, you know, be scaled down. You look thinner. Are you having a good time? That's the thing. Are you having a good time on this tour? Enjoying yourself? Well, uh, I'm always on tour. That's it's a my life. My it's life. A it's a, lucky for me, I hate my family because I never had to worry about leaving them. My family is all my fans all across the country, and they come. They want to tell me stuff, and we take pictures, and you put them on Facebook. There was always something I wanted to ask you, and I didn't even want to bring up the past. But no, don't ask me about that. I, I, I found this in Wikipedia, and you know, Wikipedia, you believe everything you see, right? 
No, I didn't. It didn't say oh. that. It was. It said at one Obvious. time that you worked with Jim Stafford. I did. Oh, I and did. the reason I wanted to ask you is I saw Jim about 20 years ago in Branson. Yeah. And his act was really cool. He had a blimp flying around. He had all this stuff. I gave him that. I, I told him that he could use some of my ideas because I wasn't using them anymore. It's good you brought that up because I didn't really want to be a comedian. It's mm-hmm. a stupid job. I'm very smart. I'm a, a very, I have a patent for new software for slot machines yeah. on your iPad and your phone. And I can't get people to pay attention to that. Now, people are not going to go to the casinos have, the rest of their life. I know it. I have so many. It's the... all on my website. You can see my patent on GallagherSmash.com and realize that I'm cutting edge. I'm ahead. Yeah. I wouldn't put a wall between um, America and Mexico. I would put a dam. The water's coming up. Yeah. You're I a was, chemical engineer. I right? am. See, I so I just I met Jim and I knew some jokes. Mm-hmm. You know, he was stealing a George Carlin joke. He'd say. I'm a Presbyterian. We worship Frisbees. We believe when you die, your soul goes to a garage in Santa Monica. And I said, don't say that. Say your your soul goes up on the roof and you can't get it down. <laughs> and Jim said, do you want to smoke some dope in my room? And I said, yeah. I stayed with him five years. Yeah. We had the first uh, song about homosexuals, My Girl Bill, the first one about marijuana, mm-hmm. Wildwood Weed. Yep. And uh, we had four hits on one album at one time. Bruce Springsteen opened for Jim. I called the lights for that show. Well, the show is so, and when I saw his show and I was thinking of your show, you can see where the similarities are. It's very entertaining. Uh, you know? That's why he didn't really want me to work with him, because people <laughs> thought it was me. I was the magic behind him. But we had a summer show on uh, ABC, and I wrote all of those. I worked with Jim when I was 25 till I was 30, and then that's when I started my career. Lucky for me, that's when Showtime Came out. Merv. Merv. Merv loved me, but he loved a lot of younger men. Yeah. That's how smart <laughs> but, I, I'm yeah. cutting edge. That's why people have never seen three comedians work together. Nonstop. Yep. Because it goes faster. See how, you know, when a, a, a disc jockey, a morning show, they'll have a weather guy and a traffic person, and they like to have that give and take, and right. it works faster. Instead of leaving a comedian backstage, why would you do that? Yep. And so that's what we're doing. We're learning how to do that, and it moves very fast. One night only. So, yeah, I brought, what I did is I brought my hecklers on stage. Oh, you did? <laughs> that must have been interesting. Well, that's what it amounts to. Thursday night, March 31st, we'll be at the Magic City Music Hall. <laughs> the Jokes on You comedy tour with Artie Fletcher, Bob Nelson, and the one and only Gallagher. And we encourage people to get your tickets at the Magic City Music Hall box office or online. Uh, and uh, come enjoy the show. And like our page.